Hey everyone, welcome to the Waukesha One Conference. I'm your presenter, Kevin Hyde, and here we are today to talk about the cool spreadsheet script super quiz. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Today what we're going to do is set up super quiz. Uh, it is going to be assumed that you know how to build a quiz or a test uh, in Google Forms, and so we're going to skip all that, skip all those parts. So if you need to kind of you know, hone your skills on that, I would suggest stopping this video, going back to an earlier video that I've done, and actually making a quiz or a test, okay? So, here we are. I've already put together my super quiz test, and this is for my class AP US History. So here you can see I have section headers, I have my pictures, and then I have some analysis questions of those, of those images, okay? So it's important to note that when you're doing a super quiz test, you can really do no more than 20 questions. Okay, so this one I have only eight. And it's also gonna help if you have these section headers that kind of summarize the topic of the questions. So for instance, I have one on immigration, so I have two immigration questions. I have a bunch of questions on urbanization, so there's three there. And then I also have uh, three questions on women's suffrage. Okay, so that's how I have, have mine set up. So if you look at my live form, here we see how, it's, how it should look, so it looks good, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our, we're gonna go to our responses page. Remember, whenever you make a form, there's always a responses page that automatically gets created, okay? Now, what you need to do is you need to go and you need to go to add-ons, and if you have an added super quiz, you need to go to where it says get add-ons, and then you simply need to search super quiz and then download it to your spreadsheet. It's a pretty simple process. Okay, but here's the first deal. Okay, this is the order of things that you have to have. You have to have timestamp, email, name, or hour. Okay, so a couple things. Hour can be either uh, teacher. So if you have a, a bunch of teachers teaching the same class and you guys want to compare how each teacher did, then you would tr you would you would change this to teacher. So for instance, um, when the kids sign up, instead of going hour they would just pick, you know, Mr. Johnson or, you know, you know, Mr. Hyde or, you know, Mrs. whomever, okay? Um, but because I'm the only one that teaches A-Push, I have no need for that, okay? So if you're just doing this to see how your classes are doing, then you would do our for that third slot. And if you are not, then you would simply just ignore that, okay? So anyways, this is how everything should look. Like I said, you should have email, name, and hour, okay? And it has to be like this, okay? The next thing you have to do is you have to be the first response, okay? So your answer key has to always be in row two, and if it's not, it won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and real quickly enter in the answer key, okay? So I'm going to enter my information, I'm actually going to write answer key, got my own rule there, okay? I'm just going to pick an hour there, and then I'm going to real quickly answer the test here. Okay, so I'm gonna press submit. There we go. And then if I go back to my responses, there we go, there's my response, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to get this, uh, get this script running here. So I'm gonna go to super quiz and I'm gonna click on get started. And sometimes this takes a while. Um, so you, sometimes you have to be a little patient. Okay. So here's the checklist and it's, you know, I would definitely read this if I were you, but it'll give you some instructions. So I'm gonna create tabs. And this is where it takes some time. Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit to load and hopefully our internet's a little faster today. Um, but it should load up here in, in about a minute or so. And it's gonna, gonna give you about seven tabs or so. And those tabs are gonna do a bunch of things for you. They're gonna show how individual students did in your class. Okay, so it's gonna give each student's you know, responses and they're gonna show which ones they got right or wrong. They're gonna show as a class, you know, what, what was the percentage of each question that students got right. And they're also gonna show things like uh, for each question, which student got it wrong. Okay, there's gonna be a tab for feedback and that's gonna be the one that we're gonna spend most of our time on. So there's gonna be this feedback tab and we're actually going to be able to type in some of the feedback that we want our kids um, to get. And then we also can put some, you know, 
extension questions to once again check for understanding okay so those are all the things that we are going to see there now the great thing about super quiz is that once it is set up and a student does go ahead and enter their information the great thing about super quiz is that they'll get live feedback so the minute the minute the student presses submit super quiz will grade their quiz and then almost immediately in real time it will generate a Google Doc and it will email it to that student and on that email it will show them what they got right what they got wrong and then it will also show them um, you know the feedback that you want them to have so for instance if a kid did really bad on my on my quiz when it comes to you know immigration for instance um, there would be some things for them to go ahead and do um, to essentially you know work on that content and to improve upon that skill so anyways I'm running out of things to talk about because it is taking so long for super quiz to get set up here so hopefully it gets going here quickly um, the other thing we can talk about while this is uh, and we can see right down here it's starting to pop up the tabs here the other thing that we can talk about too real quick while super quiz is up and running is it's kind of similar to the script Flubru, um, but just it has more features. So uh, Flubru is really good if you just want a real quick, you know, you don't really have time to do a lot of feedback. You know, Flubru is just really good for, you know, giving a kid a quick quiz or a test or whatever, and then getting that feedback to them or just essentially grading it incredibly quickly. So actually I use both, um, but when I have time, I think Super Quiz is definitely um, the right one to go with, okay? So here we can see slowly but surely the tabs are popping up and so maybe we can start by looking at what each one does okay so here we can see the first one is right or wrong so as your students take this um, you'll be able to see very clearly you know right or wrong and how they did now the third tab is also very cool the third tab is going to show you what percentage of each hour got the questions right or wrong and also obviously we don't have no one's taken this quiz yet, so we can't see this. But I do have a sample in the Google um, folder on the website. But because I selected hour, I'm going to be able to compare my third hour, my fourth hour, my fifth hour, my sixth hour, my seventh hour, my eighth hour. And then I'm going to be able to compare how the classes did. Okay, so that's a really cool feature. Now remember, if you didn't put hour and you put teacher, now you'll be able to see how each class did under a different teacher. So if you have the same assessment, if you're doing the same unit, you can basically compare how your kids are doing. So for instance, uh, if I want to see how, you know, my kids are doing compared to the AP US, history, AP US history class at North and at South, um, you know, the teachers and I can get, get together and we can maybe have different instructional strategies planned and we can look at which ones may be more effective based on our class results, okay? So there's a lot of really cool things you can do there, okay? But I just have hour for now, okay? The next one's going to be, you know, incorrect students. And then what this is going to do is it's going to give the email address for um, each question that a student got wrong. So, for instance, every student that got question number five wrong, you'll see their email pop up here. And that's really cool. Now, here's where we get to the nitty gritty here. Here's where we have to spend a little bit more time. Okay. So, here's where you get the feedback. Okay. So, you'll see that they have some very preliminary things added in here. Okay. So, you can't edit anything in the yellowish brownish color here, um, but you're going to want to fill in. I'm just going to show you actually. So the first thing you want to do is you want to break down your topics. Okay, so here we can see finally, uh, you know, everything is done. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and we can close that off. Okay, so now we want to click and say what our topics are. So my first topic was immigration. So I'm going to type in immigration. And there was two questions on immigration. And you want to make sure that this is all in order. Okay. My next topic was, I believe, urbanization. And that one had three questions. And then my final one was women's suffrage. Okay, so I'm going to put that one in there. And there was three questions for that. Okay. I don't have a fourth topic, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Okay. Now, here we see these ones, specific feedback here, this is going to be sent to students who didn't get 100% in each topic, okay? So what the, what the script will do is that if a kid gets any question wrong in a certain topic, it'll trigger some feedback, okay? And that's pretty cool. So what you can do for this 
is if a student, like I said, gets something wrong on a topic, you can then tell them to go to this website or watch this video for more help. Okay? And obviously I don't have anything in there. Okay? Um, but if I was doing it, I would put a link in there. And so when the email gets generated back to the students on that Google Doc, a kid will be like, oh my gosh, I got both those immigration questions wrong. What should I do? And basically they can say, okay, I'm going to go to this website. I'm going to watch this video and boom goes the dynamite. You know, I should get it. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the same thing uh, for each one here for time's sake, but you'd obviously want it. And this is where, this is where most of the time comes in. Um, you know, this can get a little tedious. But if you want to do it right, you know, you're going to spend some time here. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste the same feedback in here. Press enter. Okay. Almost done. Okay. So for some reason, it's not working. There we go. Okay. Now, over here in the third column here under questions, here's where you can put a question. Okay? So here's where you can say, you know, what's, you know, what's the difference between old and new immigrants? I'm just thinking of some random question here. It's not like it's that's a heavy hitting question. Okay? So here's their feedback. You know, you didn't do well on immigration. Okay, go do this, go do that, you know, review this topic. Now what I want you to do with this question right here is I want you to go ahead, uh, answer this question. Okay. Show me that you understand this topic. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing, you know, for, you know, each one of these. Okay. I'm just going to put once again, the same question for time's sake, but obviously we want to have a different question. Okay. And you can put formulas in here or whatever. Now you also can do an extension question. So all students will get this one. Oops. All students will get this one but I'm not gonna do that this time, okay? And so here we are, we're all set up, okay? Now the other thing that you can do is you can basically change the message that kids get. So if a kid gets all the questions right, you can say, you're excellent, or you need to review, or you're not secure, go back and review. So you can change these adjectives as they're called, and I'm just gonna leave them the same. Now the other thing you wanna do is if you want, you can change what grade the kids will get. Okay, so these are not what we would consider grading for learning grades, you know. So, you know, maybe you want to do something like, you know, make them advanced or proficient, you know, just so kids have an idea of how they're doing. Okay, if you want to come up with different terms, you know, that's fine too. Okay, almost done. Okay. So there you go. So there we have our auto feedbacks ready to rock and roll. And so here we see that we have our responses and all we need are people to take our quiz. Okay. And once people take our quiz, the script will automatically go through and start giving kids feedback, you know, pretty much in real time. Okay. So let's go ahead and wrap it up here. The last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this thing is going to email, um, you know, our kids when they when they take this so we want to make sure we say create docs and emails all right and you have the option of including solutions or excluding solutions so in other words that means do you want the do you want the answer key to go back to the kids or do you want them to work out the answers themselves I'm gonna click on include solutions and here we go it's gonna set up document creation it says finished and now we're done so all that we need to do, and here you can see that it actually already did mine for me because I'm the answer key. So I, I have an email now in my email or my Google Drive or whatever that shows, you know, some information for me. So now as students, uh, as students start to take this test or this quiz, whatever you want to call it, you know, the responses will go in here and then Super Quiz will automatically start generating these responses. Okay. So there you go. We did Super Quiz. Um, Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, it, it, it's it's very, I mean, it's a little more difficult than some of the other things that we've done, but I think that we all can see the potential of this amazing script. So thank you very much. 
Um, and please feel free to email me or tweet me any questions that you have. Thanks.